Hello friends, welcome back. Today I am bringing you guys a huge grocery haul because it's gonna be combined grocery hauls because I have just gotten like so busy lately that I haven't been posting. It's not that I haven't wanted to, it's just that I honestly haven't had the time to. So you guys, I have so many videos because I still film, but I just haven't had time to edit and upload. So I'm bringing you a big video today. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll have more this week. Also, today's video is in collaboration with my beautiful bestie, Jess Myros. Uh, we host a monthly collab of grocery hauls and all the ladies put all their videos in. So make sure you check that out because who doesn't love an awesome grocery haul? I love Jess. She's one of my dearest friends. So be sure to check out her channel. Go give her some love. Go give these ladies some love. I will link it all down below. But with much further ado, let's get started, guys. Okay, so we're gonna start over here on this side. Um, I did a pickup. I'll probably stay down in the introduction, but I did a pickup order and it was raining. So these were four for 12. They also had the Pepsi deal going on this week because you guys won't see this till after the Super Bowl. Obviously, I'm behind on putting videos out, but they had them like buy two, get three free. But what they did is they marked the price up. So when you factor all that in, you're not saving money buying the other brand because it's like way more expensive. So I bought these. Um, so I got two of the sugar free um, ginger ale, two sugar free lemon lime. Obviously, I've already gotten into this. I got the paper towels because these were $4.99 for the Scott brand. Ice cream. We still have some left from last week. Um, the big tub. So I just got one of these for $2.50. Sweet tea is still on sale. This is Gavin's favorite. This was $1.99. This was on special this week for the veggie blend, so I picked it up. I didn't, actually, it looks pretty, like, I'm looking through it literally as we speak, because I don't have time to review. But yeah, this looks fresh. It was $1.99 for this. I've never heard of Envy Apples, but these were on special this week for the big bag for, like, three something, I believe. Lainey likes these French toast sticks for an easy morning. I thought it was a bigger box. This will go in, like, a day with our kids. So just an easy breakfast, because I do want to get back onto prepping food in advance, but I have to, like wait till the like busy sports season is over and then I'll have more time to do that and then I pick these up just because I love these I love to chop like these up and put on a salad I love it for an easy like buffalo wrap night when things are just crazy and you don't want to like have to resort to getting fast food because gosh fast food is outrageous so these were $4.99 picked up those we love those um and I love the Aldi brand too and then picked up these um I actually ordered the other ones but they said they were out of stock so I picked just some fries up I like to do my own fries, but honestly, sometimes it's just easier. So I need some more broccoli. He still has some. You know, I told you he's one of these broccoli kits. So got some broccoli. Got some bananas. Um, me and Em like the sweet pepper. She likes to eat them raw. I like to eat them um, like a taco meal. Got some carrots to go with a recipe and just to have eggs. These were the best deal on eggs. So I picked those up because, you know, my family goes through eggs like crazy. And you guys also, let me mention this my one of my best friends christy um told me uh sent me a recipe the other day i'm funny about eggs i will not like i have to make my own eggs i won't buy eggs anywhere i'm weird but everybody else loves eggs in the house i eat them daily and i don't eat fried eggs i just uh there's just something gross to me about them. but anyway there is a recipe trending on tiktok and i'm going to make it if i can find the salsa that goes with it it's, it's like you put salsa maca in it and kroger didn't have it i even went in the store to look for it and heavy cream and your eggs and this other stuff and it's supposed to make them like this crazy crunchy crispy i don't know everybody's talking about how wonderful it is so i was going to make it for ryan and the kids but they didn't have salsa maca so anyway i got some eggs but i'm going to share it for you guys coming up so here is this side let's come over here i got some flour tortillas i think mm, they had a coupon combined with this so this made them like a dollar something this week bread they didn't have the kroger bread brand so that's a generic so I'm not about paying three dollars. I'm not about the three dollar bread life when we buy so much. So this was like a dollar twenty nine. I messed up. I meant to buy more chips um, because they love chips. I know it's not the healthiest thing. Don't come at me, but I usually get the. I could not find the Cool Ranch. And I forgot to look for them in there because actually a recipe this week is going to have Cool Ranch in it. So I have to go back in Kroger again. So I got a party size and then tortilla. These are Ryan's favorite. He always tells me not to buy them though, but I bought them and the kids love them. So usually I get two of them, but I just got one box today. I got some chocolate chips because these were $3.29 or buy one get one free, which made them like, you didn't have to buy two to get it. 
I got sugar-free chocolate chips. I love these for my protein balls, everything else. These are the cheapest. If you have a Kroger, these are the cheapest I've found for sugar-free. Then I got this because it was on special again. And you guys know me and my turkey meats. <laughs> so it was $1.99. So I picked that up. Country gravy. I don't normally buy this you know, ever, but it's a for a recipe. And actually, I ordered the Kroger brand. But they sent me Jimmy Dean, so that's a win. Um, it's going to be like a, um, I know Ryan's very funny about wanting his own biscuits and gravy made by him. And I've shared the video before, but I want to make this casserole I saw because I thought that would be easy for a night. So I'm going to make a biscuit and gravy casserole and just not tell him. <laughs> and then I got some ranch mix. That's for a recipe. Um, these were only like $2 or something, which granted, like I can make muffins, but like sometimes you just want something to grab real quick to go just to like make the school week more fun so i got those because the kids love them they were only two something got those at dollar 99 the oh gosh we got so much junk these were 249 and then i got the little pack of these i grew up on nutty buddies loved them i've told you guys that before my grandma always had them in her drawer she's long long passed away but like i love those so it's nostalgic this is my favorite cheese ever this queso cheese i could eat this bag just by itself it's like so much softer it just pairs well with tacos, obviously, or anything. Then got some more cheese. I need cooking spray. That has gone up so high now. I thought this was a bigger bottle because you know I clean my produce with it and I make um, window cleaner with it. But that's a baby bottle. <laughs> just need one of these. I didn't need more than one because we still have a bunch. I need onion soup mix for a recipe. If I ever make it, I keep saying I want to make it. I got some more ranch because I accidentally bought fat free or low fat and everybody noticed. Um, mustard. I, we, me and Ryan went on a date to Olive Garden and, and I love Italian in the past, but I just never get it. Like, I don't like oily Italian dressing. But, oh my gosh, their Olive Garden salad. We go and split a meal and eat together like every now and then. So it was amazing. And I was like, I've got to buy Italian dressing. So it was on sale. So I did. So got some more peanut butter because you guys know we go through peanut butter. This is random. I've never purchased this there, but I needed it for a recipe. Nacho cheese sauce. Never thought I'd buy that. This is also for a random recipe. Like This is something new I'm adding in here. These cans are for recipes. Recipe? I thought I got a little pack, but I got a big pack. It's also for a recipe. You guys get tired of hearing that word yet? So I'm starting this thing. I'm going to try to hold myself to it for at least 30 days because I'll be 42 on March 11th. So I said for 30 days, I'm going to try to like alleviate like sugar. So if I have to make up for it with sugar-free products, I will. So I got some pudding because like my body craves it. So um, I got that like sugar right here. I got that for the kids because it was three dollars. Then I got these. I've, I don't. I never even noticed if pickles had sugar in them, honestly. But I wanted something, and I thought bread and butter or pickle chips sound good. And these are sugar-free, so it didn't make any difference in price. I just thought, why not? cottage cheese and I got the car master yogurt because the Greek yogurt was like six dollars so I'm not gonna do that this, I just went back to the old route we used to buy that it's so good and it's like two dollars this was on special believe it or not their Sabra hummus is never on special there like I always go to Aldi's for hummus guac all that kind of stuff but this was like a dollar 99 and I love the pine nut so me and Emily like to eat that with like carrots and stuff sour cream I think it was on special. Yeah, cottage cheese was like a dollar something with a cute one. One pack of cinnamon rolls just for like, I do like cinnamon rolls one day during the week, sometimes for breakfast. I don't remember where I got this, but I got this for a recipe. These chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. I'll remember it. And then like, obviously I'm not gonna use the whole can, so I will freeze those. And, I've, and they freeze well for other recipes. Ryan wanna, Ryan's been on a pickle and broccoli kick. So I got him some of those pickle chips. And guys, this is my favorite peanut butter. Just got some honey peanut butter. Orange juice is stupidly expensive now. Like it's four dollars or three ninety nine or five for like this size. Like what has happened to oranges? Um, so this name brand light. Th this is my favorite orange juice ever. Um, when I drink orange juice, that's my favorite. Um, this actually is cheaper than any of the others. It's three ninety nine. This was a dollar ninety nine. If you bought five items, some of these are like, there's five items, five items or more, so you could save. So I got that, because we go through that a lot, or I go through that a lot. And then this, I was going to get 2%. They were sold out completely of 2%. So I just scaled back to 1%, because everybody's been liking the 2%. <laughs> Cookies, I don't know, just more sugar. Why not? 
I usually make my own. Then we need some shampoo and they really like the scent on the VO5. Since my kids like to like literally dump out half the shampoo in the tub uh, or in the shower, then I don't buy the super pricey stuff for them because it's just going to be like, we literally go through shampoo every single week because they dump so much conditioner out. I don't know what they do. So I got three bottles. This was on special and I like, um, I like the other brand, the Crest kind. So I, I like this too, but, um, you know, it's just teeth problems as you get older. So I got that for me and Ryan and I got this for the kids cause they don't care. They don't like, they don't like these crazy flavors. They like simple stuff. So, oh my gosh. So all of this stuff here. And all of this stuff here was 188, like 15, you guys. So not terrible. And let me tell you what our meal plan is if I stick to it this week. Okay, guys, it's a bunch of chicken scratch. What I'm gonna make creamy pork chops and potatoes because I already have pork chops. I keep saying I'm gonna make pork chops for like ever now. I'm gonna make pork chops. It was a recipe that looked really interesting. I bought all the ingredients for it, so I'm gonna make the creamy pork chops and potatoes this week. I am going to make, um, oh, I didn't buy the stuff for that. I'm going to make uh, biscuits and gravy casserole. I'm going to make, I'm going to try to make the Cool Ranch chicken casserole. If I can find, uh, I need to get Cool Ranch chips. I was going to make these Taco Bell quesaritos. That's why I bought the nacho cheese because it looks really, really fun. I originally had slow cooker lasagna on the menu, but we, I only need five meals this week because we're going to be out of town. And then um, I was going to make, uh, where was it? Not slow cook for lasagna. That'll be next week. Crock pot cheeseburger soup and sandwiches. That sounded interesting. White castle casserole. Pretty simple. I just don't remember if I have, I forgot to get something for that. So just some ideas. I'll film what I have and get back on track. But Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we have the state tournament for basketball. You like that? I got that five below. So we will be gone. Spending way too much money on food. But this is the haul, guys, and the plan. Okay, the most random haul ever. We'll start here. The most overpriced random haul. Cotton swabs. Just, these are a better deal there. So you get a huge thing of them. So got those. You guys, I'm super cheap with makeup. So, like, I got this. And this is, hang on a minute. This is, like, the wet and wild stuff. So that's how cheap I am. It's, like, $2.68. I really like this Profusion company. This was, like, $5.16 so for that deodorant tanner and dad and ryan needed those i love this camel concealer because i have really bad under eye circles and it was the same price as amazon so i'm not even getting cheaper on amazon but it's seven dollars that's about like the most i spend um I just need some soap so it's cheaper to buy it in a big pack it's actually cheaper i think it's sam's to get it ibuprofen is like a dollar 98 so is tylenol so I just pick those up because those are cheap this is a dollar 98 i needed some hair ties i could have picked those up at Dollar Tree to save more, but it was out of the way. Toothbrushes. I think these are like $2 and something for this big pack. So pick those up. This is my favorite thing. The 71 cent markdown bread. They had tons of bread to mark down, but I didn't need to overspend today. I'll stock up later because they literally put bread out on clearance daily. So I got one for the freezer and one to keep out. This is like the generic head and shoulders. I said before I wasn't going to buy it again because I didn't think it was very good. But it had the exact same ingredients in it. So we'll give it a try because it's like that time of year with the dry scalp. It's either like in the summer your head burns. Like my head always burns. So it creates, you know, <laughs> dandruff. So then my head gets dry and like Emily has the same issue. So just pick that up. But also they like to use this. They like the coconut scent of this because they don't need anything fancy. They literally dump half the bottle out in the shower. I didn't buy enough curtains. I didn't plan on buying these today. I didn't buy enough curtains when we put a new rod up that I've literally had in my house for two years. <laughs> we finally put it up and uh, I didn't have enough curtains, I guess. I mismeasured. So I picked up another pack. They were like, they were actually supposed to be $16.97. They were $15. So that was good. Just cheap uh, toothpaste. It's like 98 cents. They like this because the others, like sometimes I'll get the Colgate, sometimes it burns. This was sugar-free. This was the cheapest. I was looking for the sweet Italian cream, but I am not paying $4.67 for creamer. This is $2.68, and it works just as good. And then I wanted the oat milk. Like, it was like half the size of this oat milk cookie creamer, like, that they make. But I thought, you know what? This is like $3.44 for this. This is like triple the size. And I can combine my own, like, sweeteners to that syrups that I have, my sugar-free syrups. Make my own version. You guys, today is actually trick or treat. You'll see this on a different day. But um, I always, 
I did not feel like grocery shopping today. I have a lot of work to do today. So I picked these up because I do like a traditional like uh, trick or treat dinner like with or Halloween dinner with like the dyed macaroni and cheese that makes it look gross and uh, the crescent mummy dogs. So I picked those up just out of convenience because it's like 58 cents there, 56 cents. So all of this stuff, not even including that, that's not even with this, was $73, you guys. It's nothing. Ah. This was $6.98. Did I need this? No. Am I starving? Yes. And I've been wanting to try like every one of his types of bars. I got really lucky one week and got these for $3 and something at Kroger. I've yet to find that deal again. And I haven't renewed my Sam's Club membership yet. So when I do, I plan to buy a box from there or just try to figure out how to make my own. But I can't ever get my protein to taste right. So I picked those up separately. So there's that rando haul, guys. Okay, so here is a random haul. And I don't know what day you'll see this, but this is Thanksgiving because I had to get potatoes. So I thought I'd share because I found this deal on these power waffles. And I love Kodiak cakes. And I do have the mix still, but these are easy for the morning for some protein. Brian has been requesting real butter instead of my like weird sticks of butter and stuff. So I wanted to get the light because it was actually only $3.99 on a weekly deal. They didn't have any left there because obviously everything is picked over. So I got this, it was an extra $2 off. So I think it was like four something for that big tub. Cheese was $2.50 because in my last haul, I got, I ordered this, but they said they didn't have it, which they did. It's just really weird what they offer online. Um, they gave me pepper jack instead of this. So I went and got that for Gav. They had Bob Evans for $2.99 on special this week, but it was completely gone. Like all the, all, all the cases of it were gone. So I just got this for $2.99 and then Eggs were $1.99. I just need some more eggs because they cook eggs all the time. Another milk to stock up on. I found these fun finds. Um, they don't have much clearance today. They look really bad, but these look good because these have cauliflower in them and chicken. And I thought those are healthy ish. So, and bologna. This is more for Gav because we're going to be out of town for the weekend for Tanner's football thing. So, I got some bologna. I thought I ordered turkey and ham the other day, but I didn't. This was $2.99 on special, so I went ahead and got these. Um, I did get this. This is normally like $8 for this bottle or $9, something crazy. And palm juice is so good for you. They had tons of these, so I just didn't want to spend too much. I went ahead and got that so we'd have because it doesn't expire until March. And then um, it's got lots of antioxidant, antioxidants in it. Then potatoes. I was looking for the 10 pound bag, but the 10 pound bag there, because Aldi's was closed. Is $7.49. So then I looked and I was like, gonna ask the girl to get me some and I so I priced it out five pounds for $3.99 on special. So I need them to make for like 50 people for Thanksgiving. So I thought, you know what, I don't need all um, 10, I don't need all of this, but um, actually, what am I doing? I priced that wrong. I looked at the wrong way. I was thinking it was a better deal to get this. Anyway, so I've got 10 pounds for like a little bit more, but. 10 pounds of potatoes, so um, maybe it was eight pounds was the other bag. Maybe the other bag was eight pounds for $7.49. Yeah, that's what it was. It was eight pounds for $7.49. It was two five pound bags, $3.99 each. So anyway, so all of this randomness was like $45. Okay, you guys, so I have to share this in this haul because this company is one of my absolute favorites. I've worked with them as long as I've, for the most part, as long as I've been on YouTube. Um, this is not sponsored, not paid for, nothing like that. I love, 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 love New Air. New Air. I have so many products from them. I love them. I refer them to anybody that is looking for products because I know quality stuff now that I've experienced it because I went through times where I would buy like the cheap stuff. And yes, I do buy cheap stuff. <laughs> But then when you have a product that is really, really good, then you don't want to go back to the cheap stuff because then you're going to spend more in the long run trying to keep up with the better stuff. So anyway, New Air is awesome. I've got their refrigerators. I've got um, a cooler with them that we take camping because it's, it's got a freezer with it. I've got an AC unit that came in, uh, we had it a couple of years ago when our, um, that came in when the AC like blew fuses and stuff on the camper. It was awful and hot and like a hundred and some degrees. So we have so many things from New Air and I tell everybody about them. So you guys, I actually reached out to New Air. New Air is wonderful. Um, 
and so I, I have a printer you guys know I have a printing business um, until I can get it into like until I can have the funds basically to get it into like either building my own building or doing something different like that you have to control humidity you have to control moisture you have to control heat tear temperature all of it it is a constant headache but so all of a sudden we got hit with a cold front here and I was like oh my gosh what am I gonna do because I have to keep so I have dehumidifiers all over my basement I have humidifiers where my printer is because you have to keep humidity levels at a certain percent but then it's also very cold in there because there's only one vent and I was like what do I do I have little crappy heaters that like I have bought they don't do anything um, and the more heat you run the more it zaps your humidity so I was like I, I, I looked and I was like you know what I've got to reach out to new air I've got to reach out to them because I trust them I 100% have always backed them and they came in for me like instantly they didn't hesitate um, I couldn't do the one out. they have some awesome heaters like really awesome full garage heaters um, but it was like 220 volt and I'm afraid to mess with electricity so these are 120 volt these are just normal um, you can plug these in and actually Ryan got this one out because it got cold in the other room because one of our rooms just doesn't it needs to be insulated better um, so he got this out and this is their 120 volt electric garage heater um for garages workshops you know we use it in our room we have two of these but these are going to go because like it's warmed up a little bit of course once i get it in it warms up but one is staying in there and then i will run the other one when it actually hits really cold probably next month is when it will hit the really bad temperatures but let me show you these so i meant to show you that i had it turned around i don't know why i turned it around the wrong way but there's the functions and the heat is like really blowing and it's not even set like it's only just now turned on so this is awesome 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 okay my beautiful friends that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up say hey in the comments and you guys i appreciate you all love you all and i will see you all in the next one